Kelly Clarkson claims that when creating one of her biggest hits, she was lied to. Kelly Clarkson is committed to restoring her reputation. The singer of Piece by Piece recently made an appearance on Annie Cohen's Watch What Happens program where she responded to a fan's query on an old issues connected to Clive Davis' memoir The Soundtrack of My Life, which was released in 2013. Legendary music producer Davis claimed that Clarkson broke down in hysterical sobbing when he insisted that her song Since You've Been Gone be added to her 2004 album, Breakaway. Clarkson chuckled as she stated, Let's give some backstory, Davis, on Cohen's show last week. They lied to me when they said, hey, these producers want to work with you. She claimed that Since You've Been Gone only had dummy lyrics at that point in the composition process and that she was told to write to the song. In Beverly Hills, California, on November 14, 2004, Clive Davis and Kelly Clarkson. The two producers, Max Martin and UCAS Doctor, Luke Gottwald, weren't informed that I was contributing to the song and just had it created when I arrived in Sweden, according to Clarkson. And I looked like a fool because when I entered, the label had completely revealed something to me, and to me, that alone raises a red flag. Why do you lie to me in that way? She continued, saying she didn't like the lying. The root story of the song is the reason why she felt uncomfortable listening to it, she said. Despite the controversy surrounding the song, Clarkson claimed it's still fun as hell to sing. When questioned about her ability to compartmentalize the song from its baggage with Davis, Clarkson responded, Oh my gosh, I'm such a great compartmentalizer. I can put that to one side, and I sing the tour to the fullest. He mixes up his music and stories, she claimed in a 2013 statement posted to the social media website who say, Clive did not agree with my request to add more guitars to the initial demo. I couldn't be more pleased with the way the song has survived because and I continued to fight for the wider sound. I object to him in any manner diminishing that melody. In her piece, she went into further detail about her contentious working relationship with Davis and admitted to once sobbing in his office. I broke down in tears as I sang him because of you, a song I had written about my life, Clarkson wrote. He verbatim called me a SHTTY writer who should be grateful for the gifts that he bestows upon me, and I cried as a result. He kept on about how the song didn't rhyme and how I should simply shut up and sing, she said, adding that it was upsetting coming from a man who, as a young girl, I, as a musical hero and was so thrilled to work with. But I persisted in my fight, and the label finally gave in. And it went on to become a global hit. That was left out of the book. At the time, Davis responded by expressing his regret for Clarkson's decision to take issue with what he knew to be a truthful account of their time together. I had each item verified before the book was published by five different people who were there every day. I stand by the chapter as it is described in my book.